So, with these two terms, we got 54 and 128. Uh, they're even at least, so it looks like we could factor out a 2. So let's try that. So let's take out a 2 from the 54y cubed. And what does that leave us with? Uh, 27, I think, y cubed. And this is minus uh, 128 divided by 2. That gives us 64, which is great because both of these are perfect cubes. So uh, we've got this 27y cubed. Uh, 27 is the same as 3 times 3 times 3. So that's going to give us 3y cubed. And this will be minus 64 it is 4 times 4 times 4. So that's 4 cubed. And we identify that the A inside the parentheses is 3y. And the B is 4. So when we look at uh, replacing the values, this one's the difference. So we're looking at this A minus B stuff. And we've got A minus B, A squared plus AB plus B squared. Um, but for A, we've got a 3Y. So we've got a 3Y. That's going to have to be squared right there. And this is a 3Y here. And the B is 4. And then we have that 2 out in front. So we got 2 times the 3y minus 4. And then in this other parentheses, the 3y squared, that's going to give us 9y squared. Plus 3y times 4, that would give us 12y's. And then plus 4 squared, which is 16. That's it. If we didn't factor out that 2 in the beginning, 54 is not a perfect cube, and neither is 128. So we would have been stuck at that point. So if you do get stuck at that point, just see if you can factor anything out of it. Um, but yeah, this, this right here is our final answer.